So, Josh thinks that we are filming this just for a portfolio video for um, an engagement story. And so, what he really didn't know is that we were both being surveyed, we were both being questioned, and um, just getting little tidbits about our relationship and our life together so that we'd be playing this video um, on the wedding day. And so, this is actually a surprise to Josh, and I'm very excited for him to watch it and to hear my answers. And I'm excited to hear his answers, obviously, of course. And um, I hope y'all enjoy. started dating obviously um, we she came to my apartment um, with one of my roommates <laughs> um, and so um, she came in and that's where I met her for the first time and kind of took um, I guess it was about a year or so after I met her before we really became friends um, and then um, I mean <laughs> we started hanging out um, towards Christmas break for a while, um, and then started dating in February, and so. Uh, we met kind of as just like mutual friend groups, and I just remember coming to his apartment one night, and I was really upset about something, and he just kind of sat next to me and put his arm around me, and almost just gave me like a shoulder to, to cry on, and just to like talk through things. Um, and so I think that's where like our first friendship kind of started. And then I remember on his brother's birthday, actually, he invited me over to have cookie cake or something. Well, our first date, we went to Chili's. Um, and then um, we planned on going to move beforehand, but stuff came up and didn't happen. Um, and then, so we went to Chili's and we had a little bit of time to kill. And then we ended up going to a movie. Wow. Josh would say that it was going to Chili's and going to see a movie, but I feel like um, one of the first dates I would consider us having was when we spent a large amount of time together um, during the first Christmas break that we were starting to get to know each other and um, we would wake up and we'd go have breakfast together. And so I think it was little things like that, like just sharing meals together, not necessarily calling it a date or like classifying it as going out and dressing up nice, but just kind of spending those sweet moments together where we just got to have fun and talk to each other about our days. Um, but I would, I would probably consider that to be one of our first dates and not necessarily Chili's or a movie or anything like that. When I really started thinking about, um, or noticed I was falling in love with her, um, was when she went to Africa. Um. I think one of the, the moments that I knew that I was falling for Josh and that I loved him was when I um, took my first trip over to Africa. It was kind of neat because I was like, I can see myself being with her. Um, and so I think that's the first time that I started feeling like I was falling in love with her. Um, so it was pretty exciting. <laughs> I hadn't been away from Josh in months whenever I first took that trip and so being in a different country um, obviously made me miss him but then at the same time every day I was there I wanted him there with me I wanted him sharing the experiences I was having and it was just kind of one of those thoughts that someday I could see myself coming back here and knowing that he could be with me you know side by side as um, just walking the, the same streets together um, it was kind of it was kind of exciting, but then also, like I said, um, I think I truly knew that I loved him at that point whenever um, I just wanted him there with me to experience the, the good times and the bad times, obviously, that trip, but um, just wanting him to be in my life every single day, I feel like, uh, explains, explains that feeling. One thing I absolutely adore about Taylor is um, just how sweet she is to everybody and caring. Um, she drop whatever she's doing to help someone out. Um, if they're next door, or even if they're hours away, she'd do whatever she could to um, make them feel special and important, um, even if it's like 
very difficult for on her. She would do whatever it um, took to make that per person feel loved, and she does that for anyone, which is really um, something I love. Um, one thing I love about Josh, there's so many, but um, I think anybody that's ever met Josh knows that he probably has one of the greatest personalities. And he's so gentle and he's so just outgoing and just very, I guess funky is a good word for it. Um, but the one characteristic that I love about Josh, and I know I'm only going to love it more as we get married and um, have a family together, is that he is just in love with children. And you can quickly see that when he's with his family, when he's with his nieces. Um, he spent a few years at Sky Ranch and worked with five and six year olds and so that's just his passion. And what's really cool about getting to be married to him is I know that he's going to love our children with that same passion if not a hundred times more because it, it's coming between us two and it's our children. And so I'm excited for that. Um, for that part of our life and I know that he's going to be such an amazing father and I think that's one of the, the qualities that I really fell in love with at the, um, with meeting Josh. And then if I could tell her anything or whatever on my on our wedding day um, I would just tell her that I'm excited um, to spend the rest of my life with her um, and I'm excited to um, be by her side forever and then eventually have kids and um, just excited that we're gonna have, have our own little family and start a family together, so. I never would have guessed I would be getting married at 21 years old and be getting married um, to somebody that I met in college, but I don't feel like God could have orchestrated a better person for me, and I don't think that, I don't think that there's a single person in this world that's oh gosh <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, I don't think there's a better person in this world for me than Josh because he honestly makes me a better person and he honestly brings me closer to Christ every single day I think that's really rare in relationships and I'm not saying I'm an awful person, I'm not saying he's an awful person, but I would agree that we both bring out the best in each other and it's exciting to see different parts of our lives like come about just because the other person's in our life and getting to marry somebody like that, that makes you the best person you can be possible is one of the greatest gifts in life. and so. Um, I'm excited to start this journey with Josh and I know that um, things are only going to go uphill from here. I know we're going to have struggles and I know we're going to have trials, but um, just getting to live life with my best friend is by far the greatest gift I could ever ask for. And so I'm excited and I love you, Josh.